Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Therese of the Child Jesus. Let us pray in this Mass that we may follow her little way, the way of humility, the way of simplicity, and the way of love. Today being the first Saturday of the month, we also implore the intercession of Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us now be sorry for our sins, and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who opened your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her we may see your eternal glory revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of John. 
Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with great things that I do not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I cannot know. I had heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eye has seen you. Therefore, I disown what I have said, and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his earlier ones. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand she-asses. And he had seven sons and three daughters, of whom he called the first Jemima, the second Keziah, and the third Karen Hapo. In all the land, no other women were as beautiful as the daughters of Jab. And their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived a hundred and forty years, and he saw his children, his grandchildren, and even his great-grandchildren. Then Job died old and full of years. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Lord, let your face shine on me. It is good for me that I have seen afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Lord, let your face shine on me. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. Lord, let your face shine on me. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones my mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The seventy-two disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. 
Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord rewards those who are faithful to Him. And the story of Job proves this. Since Monday, our first reading has been about the story of Job. And Job experienced very terrible tragedies in his life. He lost everything. He lost all his livelihood. He lost all his children. And he himself got sick. And Job came to a point in his life where he asked, Why did God allow all this to happen to me? But despite everything that he endured, Job remained faithful to God. He never cursed God. Job did not turn away from God. Job did not sin against God. And because of his fidelity to God, in the face of sufferings, God blessed Job. And in our first reading today, we heard the conclusion of the story of Job. God returned everything that Job lost twice as much. Di noble pa ng Dios ang ibinigay kay Job dahil sa kanyang katapatan. Di noble ang kanyang kabuhayan. Di noble ang kanyang pamilya at mag-anak at ang kanyang kutis na sinira ng karamdaman naging busilak parang sa bata. The Lord indeed rewards those who are faithful to Him. This is also what Jesus told His disciples in our Gospel today. The disciples whom Jesus sent to mission returned after doing their mission. And they were so happy to report to Jesus that their mission was successful. But Jesus told them, Do not be happy because you were successful. Do not be happy because evil spirits obey your words. Be happy because you were faithful. And because of your fidelity, 
Your names are written in heaven. Their fidelity is the reason for the reward, and the reward is eternity. The Lord rewards those who are faithful to Him. And this is also what we see in the life of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, whose feast day we celebrate today. All her life, Therese remained faithful. In all aspects of life, Therese remained faithful to God. She was faithful in prayer. She was faithful in doing the tasks in the monastery. She was faithful even in times of desolation and suffering. She was faithful even in sickness and in death. She was faithful in great and marvelous things. But she was also faithful even in little things. St. Therese would even say that it is in our fidelity to little things that our love for God is manifested. And so the whole life of St. Therese was a life of fidelity to God. No wonder now St. Therese is a very well-known saint she did not attain high education. She did not have many degrees. But she is considered a doctor of the church, meaning a teacher of the faith. Like St. Augustine, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Bonaventure. She did not leave Carmel. She stayed in the monastery from 15 years old until she died at the age of 24. But she is considered as the patroness of missions. She is the patroness of missionaries. What a great reward given to her because of her fidelity. My dear brothers and sisters, are you faithful? Tapat ka ba? At kanino ka ba tapat? Sometimes we are faithful to people. Ang ating katapatan ay ibinibigay natin sa tao. Tapat tayo sa taong ito na kahit anong sabihin niya, Kahit na mali, kahit paggawa sa atin ay kasalanan, gagawin natin dahil loyal ako sa Kanya. Sometimes our fidelity is to politicians. Sometimes our fidelity is to artists. Loyal na fans ng artista. At minsan, ang fidelity ay sa pare, loyal na fans ng mga pare. Nagsisimba lamang kapag yung paring yon ang magmimisa. Minsan, pag nagkukwentuhan po kami mga pare, natatawa na lang kami. Ginagawa kami parang artista dahil nakikita sa YouTube, sa Facebook, akala artista na din kami. Meron pang ang iba sa amin, may stalker. Sinusundan-sundan kung saan nagpupunta si Father. Kinakaibigan ng lahat ng kaibigan at kasama ni Father para masundan ko ang schedule niya. Makapunta ako kung nasaan siya. Nakakatawa, pero nakakatakot din. Na kanino ba ang katapatan mo? Sa tao ba 
o sa Diyos. Ang katapatan sa tao lang ay mauuwi sa kapahamakan. Ang katapatan sa Diyos mauuwi sa walang hanggang gantimpala. Ang tapat sa tao hindi palaging magiging tapat. Pero ang tapat sa Diyos kahit sa tao, kahit kanino, mananatiling tapat. Let us be faithful to God every day because the Lord rewards those who are faithful to Him. Please stand. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows such love for small and humble people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church and its leaders may not seek to impress the world with outward splendor and power, but reach out to all as humble servants. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those in power may not rely on force or weapons, but that they may use their position for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those burdened by the trials of life, the poor, the sick, and the handicapped may experience God's love and care through us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all those who have died may enjoy everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers. And we pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord of heaven and earth, we make, make us wise with your wisdom and help us to follow you in the humble way you have shown us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for if the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Therese and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.